have been to enough fatals uh, where impaired drivers are involved and it's just not a fun thing. Impaired driving is one of our major priorities here. Uh, we've uh, focused a lot of efforts, a lot of resources, uh, changed our scheduling, uh, increased our training, um, and put a lot of emphasis on detecting, apprehending, and charging impaired uh, drivers. This here is uh, Constable Shane Mickety. Uh, you got 15 impaired in 2014. All three of those individuals are part of the municipal traffic unit uh, and they are dedicated to improving road safety out there uh, in the city of Red Deer. Constable Liam Shields with 27 impaired, uh, 22 straight impaired, three impaired by drug and two uh, demand refusals. Uh, Constable Shields was already um, recognized at a luncheon put on by Mothers Against Drunk Driving in Edmonton uh, where he and a very, very select few others in the whole province uh, received gold awards. Uh, we're going to re, uh, reissue his award to him today, so Constable Shields. It, it is a dent. I like to think of it as a dent. Um, but it's it's still continuing to be a problem. We're doing the best that we can to try and keep on top of it and detect and charge all of these drivers. Uh, again, Constable Shields thus far in the last seven months has apprehended 26 impaired drivers. So he is again on his way to uh, repeat with another gold award. I would like to congratulate all three of you for receiving the Corporal Cummings Award. Because of your dedication, hard work, and commitment to stop impaired driving, our community is a safer place to live for all of us. Congratulations and thank you for your service. It's, it's a good, it's a good feeling. It's, uh, it's nice to see the province kind of step up and recognize that impaired driving is the problem that it is. Um, this sort of thing, it just kind of gives us a little bit of that uh, pride and that recognition of the, all the work that we do. Those members are all highly trained. They're part of the specialized unit, and their in, uh, focus is, uh, especially on those Friday nights, Saturday nights, is to go out there and apprehend impaired drivers. I've been on the unit for about eight years, and uh, so we've been doing this for, for a while. And these uh, numbers that were generated are nothing new, which is sad, but it's definitely uh, appreciated that it's uh, now being recognized. You know, you feel, you feel good that night or that day that you've taken that person off the road knowing that it could have been a fatal collision later on if you hadn't have stopped them. Any time that I'm able to detect an impaired driver and charge them, uh, me intervening uh, when and where I do, uh, I feel that I, I may have saved a life that night.